Hi, my name is Nikki, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make Blair's boots. Um, Blair's cosplay has actually been at a lot of conventions, but unfortunately she is a very difficult cosplay to pull off because a lot of the pieces that she has kind of defy gravity like most animes. <laughs> like her hair, the hat, and the boots. Um, you can buy the boots, but they are kind of expensive. The method that I'm using is a little bit cheaper. Um, yeah, so let's get started. This was the first version of the boot that I made. I used the wire to wrap around the base of the boot, but unfortunately because I used hot glue, it didn't stick as well, it kept coming undone, and I kept having to fix it. As I said before, just basically follow this line, this natural curvature of the boot, and um, you know, gonna have the hook come up and then wrap back around. And probably, I think what I'm planning on doing this time is having it come up right about here, you know, just maybe like an inch on both sides, just so that way it's kind of out of the way so when I'm stepping down, it's not gonna get ruined. Even as possible, this is about nine inches from toe to the point. Okay, so I think this is as even as I'm going to get them. For the most part, they are somewhat symmetrical, I guess. So we're just going to use regular foam, um, I apologize I don't know the name of it, but you can get it at any store like Walmart or any craft store, they sell it. Um, so one thing about Blair's boots is that they do tend to be more flat, and so if you use just the wire though it doesn't look that good, it looks comes out kind of flimsy. So when we add the foam to it, it's going to add a little bit more to the shape and then also kind of help hold it in place so that way it's not um, when you bump it you're not gonna you know break it off or anything like that should look like. Um, obviously I'm going to clean this up a little bit more because the side is yeah, kind of awkwardly shaped. So yeah, but yeah really, really simple. So let's move that out a little bit more. Looks a little bit better. So now just gonna take it and see what it looks like. It's pretty good. I cut it a little bit too short right here, but I think that'll be fine. If not, I can take one of these pieces and just glue it on there. Um, 
This will be the only time that we're going to use the hot glue gun and the reason why is the first time I made these boots they came apart frequently and they constantly had to be fixed and it was just too much of a hassle. However, for the hook portion, it's not a problem. Also, the foam might melt a little bit when you hot glue it, but that's perfectly okay because it's going to be covered. So I didn't realize that my computer had accidentally shut itself off during this portion, but that's okay because it's actually very simple. All you have to do is glue right around the edges and that's it. Um, make sure you don't glue the toe yet because we'll do that later. All right, so now we are going to shape this a little bit better so it's not so chunky. And yeah, really simple. Just basically, you know, make this come to a point and then flare out. Okay, so now we're going to start doing the boot overlay, which um, I know we haven't glued this on yet, but part of the reason why I want to do that now is because I want to get the, the, the boot overlay um, made out so that way when I glue this on, I can just glue the fabric on as well so that way um, I don't have to expose myself to the harsh chemicals in the glue. Okay, so now we're going to start doing the boot overlay, and um, what I'm going to use is just some extra fabric that I have that I don't mind ruining because I don't really use it for anything. I think this is just muslin. Um, so yeah, we're going to kind of make the pattern for how we want the uh, seams to look for the boot overlay. Um, one thing I came across the first time I made this boot is that I had the seam right down the center and I thought it looked really tacky, so I'm going to redo it this time where the seam is on the sides and I think it'll look a little bit more sleek and more yeah so we're gonna start by draping okay so that is the uh, this is gonna be the pattern for the hook overlay and like I said I don't want the seam going down the center I want the seam going down the sides so basically I'm gonna make couple lines here where things are. I'm going to worry about that point once I start sewing, so I'm just going to leave that as a straight line. Put that back down to the bottom part of the shoe. And the other thing we want to remember too is to add um, the seam allowance. So when we cut this out, we're actually going to cut it out a little bit bigger than what um, the pattern calls for. test it out, see what it looks like, see if we need to make any cuts or anything. this longer than it really needed to be, but that's okay. Just having too much is better than having too little. Also, if you're unsure where exactly to put the pins, just basically pull both pieces of fabric tight and where it kind of 
you know, uh, pinches together and it feels nice and firm and snug around the foam, um, that's where you want to put the line. I know you might not be able to see this. I can see it. Um, but I am making a line. I don't, yeah, I don't think you guys can see it, but I am making a line. <laughs> um, might also work better if I had like a, a metallic sharpie or something of the like. So yeah, so that's for the hook part. And next I'm going to show you for the rest of the shoe. So for me, I'm going to be a little bit more careful just because this fabric right here is very flimsy and I really don't want to poke a hole in it. So I'm going to try and go back and forth and make sure I'm not attacking it or anything. Okay, so I kind of got it started. So this is the back, this is the front. Basically, before I pinned it, I kind of held around for the more hard parts because that's the part that I want to uh, do the overlay for. So now we're just kind of going to try and follow along with it. Okay, so this is what the boot overlay should look like. As you can see, I have it outlined with the pins. Now I'm just going to trace it with a marker and that way it'll give me my pattern for this side of the boot and then I can just, I think I can just turn it over. Yeah, I should be able to use that side, maybe. No, I might have to redo it. But anyways, the nice part is um, because the boots are both the same, I mean the hooks are a little bit different, but both boots are the same, you can just uh, cut this pattern out and then um, use uh, you can cut this pattern out and cut two, so that way you get one for this boot and then one for the other one. Um, and then same thing with the other side. So now I'm just going to trace it. Oh, also want to make sure that you add a little bit for seam allowance. So now you can see it a little bit better. And uh, one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the toe open-ended. And that's because when we um, attach it to the hook part of the fabric, um, we'll be able to put them together. So that way it's, it looks a little bit more seamless. So I had to redo this a couple times because I'm awesome. So let's start over. Once again, this is the boot overlay pattern, the uh, darker red is more where the actual boot was and then some of the dotted lines was for just lines that I used to cut. That way I had a little bit of excess so that way, you know, everything gets covered. trying to get in the feel for it. So I'm going to take a pen and go over this, see where I need to sew. Uh, same thing here. And then, um, yeah, then I'll be able to turn this over and put it on. Um, the other thing I need to do is put it on this side. Since on my boot I have a zipper, I'm actually going to cut. I don't want to cover up the zipper just because I think it could cause problems. So. I'll probably cut straight down. Okay, so now we're going to get into the sewing portion. And basically what I'm going to do for now is just do the outside, which is the back of the heel, and then the front of the foot. And I uh, drew a line, so I'm going to follow that line that I drew so that way I can do this. Also, it's best when you're um, sewing this together, when you take it off the boot, just kind of slide it up the boot part, and then don't take these out and flatten this out, because then you're just going to lose that shape that you um, made with this. Because we're, right now we're copying the exact shape, and then when we put this back on, it should fit like a glove.
depending on how your boot looks, the boot cover is going to vary. In my case, it does look like a loafer, so I'm covering this part up. So what I did was I put the fabric that I'm using as the boot cover inside out and then just traced it the same way that we did the uh, pattern making for the boot cover. Um, the reason why I waited until after um, after I sewed this together was that way it was more accurate. The first time I did it, it turned out all in the wrong spots and it was very uneven. So this way it's more accurate and what, what I need it to, to be. And now what I'm going to do is put it back on the same way and this time I'm going to figure out where the hems are and start pinning it down and then I'm going to sew the hems down so that way when I glue this on it'll look nice and sleek. As an example, like uh, these corner parts, I actually ended up gluing down with hot glue just as a quick fix. I'm still gonna go over it with the sewing part, but since they don't like to stay down with the hems. But yeah, so, so you just simply line it up and like, oh, put that in, so that's where another hem is gonna be. And it makes it look, look a little bit more like the actual. Okay, so this is kind of what I have so far, kind of doing like a mock-up. Um, right now I just have the bottom layer kind of taped on how I would like to have it lay on there for when I glue it. So you can kind of, you know, see how it's starting to take shape and everything. Um, I did mess up a little bit, but I think it'll be small enough that it's not going to be a big deal. Um, yeah, like I messed up a little bit right here, and I'm not going to worry about it because it's it's on the inside of the shoe. No one's going to see it. And then how I did this, because like I said, I was going to wrap it around. Um, so this is the front part. This little rectangular part is the front part. So it just covers that. And then of course I made sure to follow the that part right there. And then wrapping it around. Oops. And of course, because I'm holding this, it's not gonna do what I want it to do, but yeah, so this one this one actually fitted a little bit better than the other one did, but so yeah, that that's how that's gonna go around. And this is what it looks like underneath. Uh, for the corners, I just um, cut a slit down the middle, and then I cut two triangles out or along the line that I made. And uh, these I glued down. And then to kind of help with the seams, kind of a janky job, but still works. Um, I uh, hemmed it so that way it stays. Because one of the issues I had uh, the first time I made this was I didn't hem it and it kept coming undone. Um, I'm debating on hemming the bottom parts, but I think I'm going to leave it because when I glue tomorrow it might change how it fits. So, so yeah, that's what I have so far. And then tomorrow is the fun part with the gluing. And yeah. going to take a nail file or sandpaper and rough up the edge of the sole of the shoe, so the rubber part. Don't don't worry too much about the pleather or leather part of it. Um, the reason why we're doing this, it's in the directions and it's also to help the glue kind of grip on and so it'll stay in place. Now you don't have to do this step, but it is recommended in the directions.
Okay, so this is what it should look like. Definitely recommend taping it down to help hold it in place. You might not have to do it, but if you want to, go ahead. And so we're just going to do the same thing on the other side, right there. Okay, so we are done with this portion. This is kind of what it should look like. And I'm going to let this dry for a couple hours, and then we're going to come back out and put the boot overlay on. Okay, so the first part is you're going to want to stuff your boots with either shirts or fabric, just anything to help uh, hold, hold the shape. And the reason why is so that when we glue the overlay on, it dries correctly. And then we're going to follow the same procedure as we did before, except we're not going to do any sanding because the leather and the fabric, the pleather or whatever, will hold just fine. So the really the metal was the only thing that needed the sanding for extra gripping. So then um, starting from the top edges first, we're going to line this up right along these edges, the front, the top part right along these edges and then we're going to work our way down to the sole that's going to be next and then lastly we're going to do the front part. Also it's a good idea to use tape like we did last time to help hold it in place while you're gluing because it will want to move and this way it'll help hold it in place. So we're going to start with the front panel and we're going to line it up as best we can with the seam and the reason why we want to do this is so it looks a little more sleek and a little bit more like with the boot. And then we're just going to take the glue and just put it everywhere. And we want to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. So lots of glue here. I'm just going to spread the glue so that way it doesn't create lumps and dries evenly. Also be careful not to get any on the sides and if you do happen to make any mess ups you can use acetone nail polish remover as long as it's still wet. Okay, so now we're going to take this front panel and gently smooth it on, try and keeping the seams aligned, and just gently smooth it out so we don't accidentally smear it or move it where we don't need it. And this is why we also want to have the boots stuffed so that way it helps hold that shape. Make sure the glue that's around the wire is dry so that way you can take the tape off. And we want we want to take the tape off because we're gluing directly to the boot and it'll be more stable if we do that instead of gluing it to the tape which is more likely to fall off. Okay, this is what it should look like so far, which is pretty good. Okay, except for this side. Um, I'm going to tape this down so that way it dries properly. And then we're going to let this one sit for a few minutes before I do the bottom. I'm going to explain this really quickly since my memory card is almost full. You're going to take the bottom part of the fabric and then tuck it under alongside the edges. And basically you're just going to take some glue, put it right under, and then 
hold it down for a couple seconds and then you're going to need some tape and then tape tape the edges down so that way it doesn't move so this is the last portion of the gluing that we'll be doing which is the toe and so we have the boot overlay and then the hook overlay and what we're going to do is take the boot overlay pieces the two pieces and just tuck them up front be mindful of the edges and then we're going to take the hook overlay and basically tuck it over itself and on top of the other two so if needed cut off any excess so that way it's not bulky or if it's in the way or if it's too big last part I just folded it over and now I'm just gonna glue it and that should be it This is what it should look like it's all taped up so that way none of it moves we're gonna let the whole thing dry for two days I'm not gonna try it on we're just gonna leave it alone for two days so that way it dries permanently and properly these are my old boots they were big and clunky and kept falling apart so I had to replace them and you can also tell that they were a little bit big for me in the thigh and then these are my new boots, which are a lot sleeker, a lot slimmer, and actually um, held up really nicely for walking around at cons. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I know it got really long really fast, but I hope I was able to help someone out. And once again, thanks for watching.